Well, it's time to make another video talking about Nice Bus and the latest complaints that I've got regarding what's going on with Nice Bus. And this is, this is getting absolutely ridiculous. So that has to do with not having air conditioning. And, um, you know, they've always been not great with it. But this year, it's been awful. And what makes it even worse is that they're locking the window shut. This is an old picture. This is a picture from 2021. You'll see there is a Gillig there with open windows. This was taken in October. So it wasn't really that hot out. You can see there's also an Orion there uh, with some open windows as well. You used to be able to open the windows on the buses, all right? Um, and, you know, the Gilligs obviously have been with us for a while now, you know, and uh, they're locking the windows shut on all the Gillig, fa the Gillig buses, the Gillig BRT Plus CNG buses. Um, they have uh, show you what, uh, what I've been going through. So, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been brutally hot, but... You're riding on a bus when the air conditioner's off and all the windows are closed, and it gets hot in there. Um, and so this is what this is what I've been dealing with lately. Um, this is what they're doing. So this is the window on a Gillig. I couldn't really take a video of it. I just tried to take a picture of it. They put a screw in the part that oh, you, you you open the window, um, so you can't you cannot open the window. They put a screw in there, so you cannot open the window. Um, and this is, I don't even know if this is even legal for them to do, but this is what nice bus is doing. Uh, and they've even also been doing it on the new flyers too, as well. Um, even on the new flyers that they've been doing it. And, um, I have a short clip that I'm going to play for you of, uh, I was on a bus that was hot, no air conditioning. And, um, I actually was able to remove the screw from the bus. So, uh, it's an old picture there from 2015. Um, uh, and yeah, they're doing this on the new flyers too, to some extent, though it's not as much as on the Gillicks, but, um, they are screwing the windows shut and the drivers don't put the air conditioning on. It smells like weed in here too, and I got the window. I can't open the window. There's a screw up here. So I'm going to take the screw out so we can get some air because I can't breathe because it smells like weed in here. So, there you go. I mean, this is what's going on, and... You know, I had this on the N15 last uh, N15 today with 2060. And last night, I, I think I had 2086 or something on the N4041. It was the same deal. And the windows are locked shut. You can't open them. And the air conditioning is off. And the drivers, I, 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 think, I don't think it's the driver's fault. I think Nice Bus is, and I've already reached out to Nice Bus, and they like, seem unaware of it. But I know exactly what's going on here. They're trying to, they're, Nice Bus is probably watching the each bus driver i've already been heard this from various people that they watch how much fuel each bus driver is using and if they use too much fuel then that bus driver might get in trouble so that's probably why they're turning the air conditioner off um that that's that's my guess on it you know meanwhile the driver has the ac on the front f just for him uh while the whole rest of the bus is warm and you can't open the damn windows i mean this is an outrage, and Nice Bus thinks they're going to get away with this, but this is, this, is a, this is dangerous because it gets stifling on the bus. You can't breathe, and I shouldn't have to ask the bus driver to put the air conditioner on. The air conditioner should be on, all right? We've been, we've been through this a million times already with Nice Bus and not having the air conditioning on. I, I mean, and especially when you're on a crowded bus. It's not healthy. This is how diseases spread. That's why I have to wear a mask when I'm on the a bus all the time. You know what I mean? They, they, there's no air. How are people supposed to breathe? But nobody, nobody complains. Nobody cares because everybody who cared and everybody who, who, who did, it, did have standards doesn't really ride nice bus anymore because they don't want to put up with it anymore. So imagine you're sitting on the bus on this muggy night like tonight. And again, I had this on the N15. Luckily, the bus wasn't crowded, but... It was it was so stifling in there. It was humid. You're sweating, and, and there's no air conditioning. 
You know, nice bus. Knock it off with. The, if this is what's going on, you, you know, if you're telling, watching how much fuel the bus drivers use, uh, you know what I mean. And if you're driving for nice bus, uh, you, you know, you need to just resist this kind of stuff. All right, it's not right. The union, local 252, should be saying, you know what, Transdev has no freaking business watching how much fuel these bus drivers are using. But that's the only reason I think, why would they want to shut it off? Why would they want to shut the air conditioner off? There's no reason for it other than that. So this is why I don't want to blame the bus drivers uh, for this. I really don't, all right? I think they're under, I think they're, they're being watched. That's what I think is going on. And I appreciate some comments about what you think the reasoning for this is. But nice bus needs to knock it off because, you know what, if you, it's one thing if you're doing it, but at least let us open the windows. All right, you're having the windows locked shut. And, you know, I'm going to bring a tool with me to start removing those screws on the buses myself because you cannot screw the windows shut. That, that is not right. If you're going to have the AC off, then we have a right to open the windows. It's torture what you're doing to the passengers, and it's got to stop.